Okay, the nieces are now 10 weeks old and they are helping themselves to some sweet potato vines. Andre and I have started harvesting the sweet potatoes, so we're grabbing some of the vines and bringing them up here so the sisters and the nieces can start to uh, have some fun, give them something to do. There's Andre's expensive chicken. That's the Lavender Americana. Inside is the Splash Americana. And then the Wheat Moran, which is the known rooster, which is right there. Then that's one of the Olive Eggers. Then the two Olive Eggers are on the right over there. And then the Blue Copper Moran is in the back over there. And I'm officially naming that Roadrunner because it beep beeps. See if I can get her to actually start doing it. All right. So I wanted to see if I could get her to actually do that. So uh, as soon as they start laying eggs or crowing, at least the ones that we're keeping will have official name reveal parties because Andrea has weird names for all these things. Not good, wholesome names like Ern and ML. So what we're doing now is we're having a little bit of outside time. And so the sisters are kind of all over the place. And so we are also, let me open up the coop here. We're also, this is the first day we are boarding up the nest boxes. So the sister or the nieces being 10 weeks old, they are now old enough to be out here on the, the roost with the other sisters. So they are going to be, uh, we're going to have to force them out like we did with the nephews earlier this year. Uh, also today, uh, Andrea loves using this blink camera so much that she drained the battery. So instead of me doing it, I made her actually come in here and do it. Although she's threatened me with my life if I actually videotaped it or photographed her. So I guess she just have to take my word for it. But yes, I actually got Andrea inside of the coop today. So Pamela here thought that that was very good. So... Let's see where everybody else is. But uh, everything's going pretty good with them. Um, like I said, we started harvesting sweet potatoes. I think we harvested five plants today. So I think we ended up with four bread containers. Well, all right, let me go over there. Hold on. Okay, this is what we did today. I know this is not the best angle, but it's basically four bread crates worth of sweet potatoes with the largest ones being on top here. So I was talking with a friend of mine who actually earned the chicken is named after. And she's like, ooh, yum, sweet potatoes. So I can have sweet potato pie. So we have some monster sized sweet potatoes in there. And so we think that the sweet potato pies will be perfect for that. So yeah, all of this was five plants. And after we get done with everything, uh, we're gonna come in with the middle buster. And well, hold on a second. Okay, right here. That's where the sweet potatoes we've been harvesting. So we got about a third of that row done. Andre said we have about 62 more plants to go. I think we've harvested a combined 11 so far. So we still have a ways to go in the sweet potatoes. So I told Andre what we will do is that we'll just do a few at a time so we're not killing ourselves. But as you can see, the sweet potatoes kind of took over everything over here. Uh, there's the remnants of our watermelon field. So, 
I'm actually glad I came back here because the gate was open, which means that the guys would be coming out and going out the gate, which is never good. Uh, the greenhouses have been holding up like champs. So we've had wind gusts of 20 miles an hour or more. And so they've been holding up pretty good. Uh, we started to uh, do some more sandbags. So now we have two sandbags on each end instead of just one. And so the goal is to get 50 sandbags for each greenhouse, but that's going to take a while. Uh, the prior... All right, what in the world is going on over there? The priority actually right now is Andrea's mother's cabin, which as you can see right there, the cabin um, needs staining. So that's our main project for this week. So I think I'm going to do a video on that when we start staining that tomorrow. Uh, I don't know yet. So now I'm trying to figure out what's going on over here with the sisters. So with the nieces and the sisters, they're basically two separate flocks right now. And so the sisters take no prisoner with the nieces. And so uh, whenever the sisters get too close to the nieces, nieces freak out. And so that's that. So I think it's about time for me to wrangle them back in because it looks like they're about in a line here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So let me do that, then I'll post the video.